Thank you, Simone. Halloween is tomorrow, and of course, ghost stories are a big part of Halloween. One place that's full of history and some believe full of spirits is downtown Pensacola. Oh my, WKRG News 5's Cherish Lombard takes you to museums within the University of West Florida Historic Trust, where if you think you hear, see, or even feel something you cannot explain when you visit, you're not alone. Pensacola has a haunted history. Once City Hall, built in 1907, now houses the Museum of History and is home to artifacts, photographs, and chilling stories. You just hear this bam, 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 of just somebody running up and down the hallway. Collections manager Lori McDuffie is usually the first to handle relics, and after long days working in the museum basement, she's the last one to leave the building. At least, she's supposed to be the only one there first time I heard it, it freaked me out to the point that I actually went up there because I thought there was somebody still in the building, but there was nobody. One strange experience involves the elevators at the Museum of History. Elevator doors already open on every single one of the floors without being called. They shouldn't open until you call it. Wendy Davis says this bizarre story is one a co-worker experienced. She's like, ah, I'll use the stairs to go to the second floor and close up. She gets to the second floor, the elevator doors are open for her, waiting for her. Use the stairs again, and then it was there on the third floor as well. The stairs carry their own tails. We have two stairwells in this building, and you can hear people running. We had a staff member once who would hear kids laughing, which can be very ominous when uh, it's dark and spooky at night. It's an old building. And you go and check and nothing? And nothing. It seems the sounds and specters also haunt the halls of neighboring buildings, including the Children's Museum. One time I heard my name whispered and felt it on my neck. Boxes moved over at that museum in one of my storage rooms. I would go in, it would be cleared, I'd get something out, go back in, and boxes would be blocking the path. Also, unexplained happenings in the Lear House. I left, went to lunch, I came back, and the curtains had been pulled over the top of two high chairs that we have sitting in front of opposing windows in the same room. Nobody else was in the building that day. I actually went on the porch of Lear House and refused to go back into the house. Someone or something there seems to be very particular about the placement of shoes. We always tuck the toes of the shoes under the edge of the bed and pretty much every other time you go into the house, somebody's pulled them out and moved them about three or four feet over out into the middle of the floor. Have you guys tried just leaving them in the middle of the floor to see if they're moved? We have, and they, they stay there until we move them back to the bed and then they get pulled back out. Visitors have reported ghostly encounters too. In some of the older homes in Astort Pensacola Village, we've had people who've come through who say that they are sensitive and they had felt somebody was telling them something or they have seen something move, they were kind of tapped on the shoulder, those kind of things. Who or what is behind these occurrences may forever remain unknown. But for those who have felt it, seen it, and heard it, it is very real. Reporting in historic Pensacola with photojournalist Dan Kattinger, I'm Cherish Lombard for WKRG News 5.